module 1 starts on the 1st of February and continues to the 12th of February. In this module, we'll be focusing on the book Creating a Sense of Presence in Online Teaching. And we're going to be looking at the concept of presence and how it relates to online learning. Activities for this module have been divided over the two weeks. So in week one, from February 1st to February 7th, we're going to spend the time reading the book. It's a short book and a quick read, and it has a lot of strategies on how to create presence in an online course. Now, during this week, you'll also view presentations by the authors, and there's also an audio video session with the authors. So it'll help you get an inside view of the book and what they were thinking when they wrote the book. In the second week, from February 8th to February 12th, we'll have discussion postings. Now, the discussions for this module in Module 1 is a class-based discussion, meaning we're all going to be discussing things together. The postings are going to be related to five specific discussion questions. These questions have been posted in the discussion forum. And the questions are intended to put theory to practice. So uh, things like, how did your thinking, emotions, and behavior interplay with your sense of presence during the learning experience? So you're going to take the ideas of presence, reflect on your learning experience, and then you're also going to look at how can we take this idea of presence and then how can we successfully operationalize it in an online course? Because at the end of this course, the idea is for you to develop an online D2L course, and this creating presence is one aspect of it. So how are the discussion postings graded? graded? It's going to follow this criteria. You need to respond to all five questions. And you will also need to comment on the responses of at least two of your peers. In addition, remember that when you are making your posting, follow up with questions for the whole group. As in, these are my thoughts, and then you end it with a question for everyone so that we can interact with each other. The next thing to remember when you're making your discussion posting is that you want to relate it to personal experience. And when I say relate it, I mean relate the concepts in the book to your personal experience. Now, this is what actually makes your learning relevant going back to our constructivist theories and our whole adult learning model, you need to make your learning relevant to you in your life. So how does it relate to your personal experience? How are you going to translate it into practice? And when you're talking about the major concepts of the book, you might be using, for example, quotations from the book. When you're using quotations, please always remember APA. You need to use APA citations whenever you are using quotations. Now, remember, the Administrative Leadership Support site has um, links to APA guides and tutorials. So use it. Be very sure of your APA citations. If you have any doubts in your APA citations, you can always email me to clarify them as well. And of course, as always, you want to show a high level of analysis and insight and a critical perspective when you're reading a book and when you are deliberating on it. So I look forward to an exciting discussion this module. As always, if you have any questions, you need any clarifications, please feel free to email me.